Ivanka Trump is testifying before the January 6th committee today. That's right. As the daughter of the former president and as a key advisor in his administration, Ivanka Trump could offer significant insight into Mr. Trump's mindset surrounding the riot. Her husband, Jared Kushner, testified before the committee last week. He was the first member of the Trump family to meet with them. Meanwhile, two former Trump aides are closer to being found in contempt of Congress. The full House will vote on the charges for Peter Navarro and Dan Scavino this week. This is expected to pass the majority Democratic House. Meanwhile, the leader of the Proud Boys, Enrique Tarrio, has pleaded not guilty to multiple federal felony counts, including conspiracy, at his arraignment today. These charges are related to his role in the January 6th riot. Joining us now is CBS News congressional correspondent Scott McFarlane. Scott, welcome. Thanks for joining us. How critical is Ivanka Trump's testimony today? This is a high watermark for this January 6th committee. They were seeking an interview with Ivanka Trump for February 3rd or February 4th. It's happening two months late, but it's hard to get any closer or inside Donald Trump's inner circle than the former first daughter. And that's where we are today. The committee speaking with her remotely via virtual connection, so we won't see Ivanka Trump here at the Capitol. But the committee has been pretty clear and emphatic about why it wants to talk to her. They told her in their request for this interview earlier this year, they believe she has insight to Donald Trump's state of mind on January 6, 2021. They believe she heard in the Oval Office his side of pivotal phone calls, including with former Vice President Pence during the start of the riot, January 6th. What's more, they said they want her to help answer a critical question. Why didn't White House staff urge the former president to go to the press briefing room and call for a stop to the violence during the peak of the riot? These are threads the January 6th committee wants to pull on, has wanted to pull on for months, and though it's two months late, they're getting their chance today with Ivanka Trump, and it's worth noting it comes just days after Jared Kushner agreed to appear and speak with this committee virtually. These are both voluntary interviews, Tanya and Nikki, not under order of subpoena. These are not required depositions. They're happening voluntarily. Very interesting. A lot of people will be very curious to see what comes out of these interviews. But I want to pivot over to Enrique Tario, the proud boy, and his not guilty plea, Scott. Can you tell us what the significance of that is? Enrique Tario has just pleaded not guilty to federal charges, including conspiracy from January 6th. Enrique Tario's case is a unicorn. It's one of a kind. It is arguably the highest profile and potentially the highest level January 6th case so far. And there are several reasons. First of all, Enrique Tario, unlike the many others charged from January 6th, was not here that day. He was under arrest in an unrelated D.C. crime from days earlier. But prosecutors say he was such a part of the planning and plotting and organizing of January 6th, it merits a conspiracy case. And that's important. They believe he was an organizer, a tip of the spear, somebody who was bringing in a plan for people to be ready for action, if not ready for battle January 6th. He is a provocative figure. He is a high profile figure by design. He is accused of being a leader of the Proud Boys. We know he was the subject of one of those subpoenas from the January 6th committee. They wanted to talk to him as well. And now he's in pretrial detention, likely facing a trial in June or July on this highest level charge of conspiracy. His among all the others, but his in particular, is a case to watch. Mm. Scott, as you know, but we'll tell our viewers that January 6th committee chairman, Congressman Benny Thompson, told CBS News the committee doesn't need testimony from former Vice President Mike Pence in order to complete their investigation. Why not? I mean, the former Vice President was at the Capitol and had been taken from the Senate floor for his own safety. He was even threatened by his own supporters and pressured to change the election results by the then sitting president. Scott, why shouldn't the committee call up Mr. Pence? It's a tricky thing to do, first of all. A former vice president being called up to appear before a congressional committee. There are a lot of landmines there. But what Chairman Thompson, Benny Thompson of Mississippi, the chairman of this January 6th committee, said is that they have made such progress, Nikki, in their investigation with hundreds of interviews and depositions, with tens of thousands of records collected. They don't need 
his testimony, testimony anymore. They have spoken to figures around Mike Pence. They've learned his sequence of events that day, from his arrival to the Capitol to his arrival in an evacuation zone, an uh, evacuation zone beneath the Capitol complex during the peak of the riot. They believe they know who was calling Mike Pence, who was trying to lobby Mike Pence. They have gathered so much from the other witnesses. They don't seem to think it's worth the juice from all of the squeezing it would take to get Mike Pence to appear. Uh, what's more, the committee is running out of time. They have collected all these interviews and all these records, and they have to get something out the door, a final report and final hearings, likely by late spring or early summer. They're still aiming for early May public hearings. There is limited time left for more intake and more interviews. But they've, the committee, all nine of them, stand ready for something else. Later this week, they have recommended the full U.S. House recommend criminal charges for two other key witnesses. Peter Navarro and Dan Scavino, two Trump insiders for contempt of Congress. We expect that vote tomorrow. All right. Scott McFarlane on Capitol Hill. Thank you so much. We appreciate it.